Hi Harry, lovely to meet, it, meet up with you and begin doing some work on your game. Um, really your initial changes related to the image that we're seeing on the top left hand side of the screen. Uh, the radius of the swing is very wide. The release point is too much back of the ball. And we can see we use different sort of different reference points for you. You know the right arm here is maintaining a lot of flex. The hips have pushed forward pretty quickly. But the arms have sort of been left behind. The right shoulder is starting to drop behind you. And a lot of it comes from this move from the top where the body goes towards the target. But the club is sort of thrown away from you. And you lose any sort of lag that you created on the way back. So rather than focusing on you know, that initial move, which was obviously a problem, what we tried to do initially was just tighten the radius. So we're trying to improve position six, P6, which is the delivery position when the shaft of the club is parallel to the ground. So the first thing we did was we placed the cone about 12 inches behind the golf ball. Uh, and just ask you to miss the ball, miss the, the cone on the way back and down. This was after sort of, where are we now, swing four, a couple of swings, only a couple of swings uh, working on the drill. The first thing we saw was that because the cone was in place, the rate at which you needed to extend and left tilting in the backswing improved and you didn't lift quite as much on the way back. So you're much more stable inclination to the ground. As you change direction now, the hips don't move forward quite as quick. There's a little bit more lag maintained in the wrist, so there's not quite as much throw away of the shaft. The right arm's beginning to straighten a little bit sooner. And the radius of the swing now is much, much tighter. So the butt of the club is more in line with the golf ball at P6. The right arm started to straighten out as the right arm straightens out it allows you to just sort of control the rate at which this club is going to shift to the right drop behind you underneath you and then potentially close down in the through swing so you're starting to look much better in regards to your tilts at that point we've got much less side bend away from the target much more appropriate for the shot that you're hitting and the shoulders are starting to look a little bit more level at P6. We should have the right shoulder below the left, but not as substantially as we did at the start of your session. So swing now much more in line, requiring less of a rotation of the hands on the way through. So if we watch this one here now, we're going to see the hands wrap over very quickly because of what's gone on before. Here we still want to do the same. So what we talked about then was the act of stopping quicker. Uh, we just want to be using this as a conditioning exercise more than anything. So you were sent out on the range and you were asked to just spend 20-30 minutes hitting shots where we concentrate. Obviously we've got the cone behind us to tighten the radius. But we're just trying to stop a little bit quicker. See there now the benefit of having the cone behind when you're practicing. Tilt's looking much better. Right arm straightening out nicely. Swing much more in line. As you come through the hit now, the handle's leading more. And the rate at which the hands wrap over is starting to become reduced. They still wrap over, but it's a reduced rate. And we can see that by the fact that the butt of the club is getting further away from us. So the player who wraps over the most will start to look like he's got the shortest arc. So the swing on the right, you know, is it a complete complete swing? Far from it. Are we doing the moves that we want to, to have in there less? Certainly. If we just take that back a few frames, post impact.
get the club on the white line. You can start to see that the hands have wrapped over much less at that point in the swing. So the act of stopping quick is started to control the rate of closure on the club face. What we do now see, I beg your pardon, what we do now see is a lot of flex going in there as well. We've got a lot of flex in the right knee, right shoulder working up, head starting to lift. We've got a lot of flex forward, we're flexing forward in the neck. Flexing forward a little bit in the hips. And we've got a lot of flex going in this right knee. And that's all an attempt to shift the plane to the left because of the original downswing, the original start to the downswing that we would make previously. So what we've asked you to do here is start to use the tilt in your eyes to control the action of the right shoulder. You can see there when you do that, you start to get rid of some flex in your neck. The right shoulder works down and under more. The right knee flexes forward less. And then we also got you to hit some shots where we didn't have any backswing length whatsoever, but we had to try and hit the ball as far as we could. That's learning you to push up out of the ground in a much more appropriate manner. You can see as you come through, you get rid of the flex in the lead leg. You start to push up a little bit more. And again, the neck flex is forward, but there's a little bit less forward flex in the pelvis. And then ultimately the look that we want, you just hit a shot there now trying to max out the right tilt. I'm going to come in and make some adjustments. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to push your right shoulder down. As I push the right shoulder down, the eye line changes and you're looking at it more at a tilted angle. I'm then going to ask you to push up out of the ground with both legs. As you do that, you're going to see the level of the belt raise and the tucking of the hips uh, going in there as per the pattern. So from there now, we drop the right shoulder down, the eye line's changed. Now you're going to push up with the legs and the follow through is in a much more appropriate position than what we see here on the top right. So once we get the take, once we get the downswing tighter, and we calm the rate of closure down. What we also want to start working on is improving that finish position. So we've got the lower right shoulder. We're looking at it with the eyes tilted over. And we're feeling like we're pushing up with both legs, getting rid of the flex in the lower body on the way through. Good luck with it. If you've got any questions, feel free to contact me via email or you've got my mobile number. And I look forward to working with you again in the coming months. Well done.